if someone offer you 100 million right now for a one night stand, be sincere with yourself. Will you do it? Huh. Look at the camera. Oh, um, uh, Let's know. 100 million naira for one night stand. Will you do it or not? I'll I, do it though. And you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Make it no verse. <laughs> I'm a good digger. <laughs> good day, viewers. Welcome to Future ABC Online Media TV once again. Uh, my name remains Adi Andrew. Not to surprise you or not to spoil you, we are still in the state of madness. You see, from time to time, things vary depending on the era of people that lives at that time. What I mean by that is this. When we were young, there are some things that we experienced that we thought we've seen it all. But luckily, I still live at this time and age. And what we witness these days, as compared to what we used to witness in the past, especially, you know, 70s, 80s, and uh, people who live in their 60s and 50s as well, is something that we've never experienced before, we have never seen before. So in my own time and realm, I can say the madness that we celebrate or that we see around us within our community, within our ASICs, within our space these days, is like the solid, the very solid madness. But I want to believe that in the next 50, 100 years, by the time people like me are no longer, you know, longer living as a living soul on this planet. The next generation that will come, like uh, the generation that will come after the Alpha generation, the Alpha generation ends in the year 2025. And the generation that will come after them, whatever they are witnessing now will become like a norm to them. Like there are three states in existence. We have the gaseous state, the liquid state, and the solid state. And whatever we witnessed when people like me were young, in the early 80s, I can say is in their gaseous state. And when we get to the 90s, it was in the liquid state. But now, it's more or less like in the solid state, whereby we witness all sort of madness that we have never experienced before, things we've never even thought could be possible in our midst. And an uh, example of it was the one you just saw now, you know, where a lady, at the end of this video, pay attention. If you watch this video to the end, I'm going to be giving you the full comprehensive video of what I just showed to you briefly about what they would have done if they were given 100 million naira to spend the night with a man, especially when they are in a relationship already. Uh, you know, in the past, we used to see all sorts of madness, but the madness we witness these days are like the premium one. And I'm sure to the younger generation, especially to the kids like people like me get there to, they will see it as a normal thing because they came to this world to meet it at their own foundation. They were like saying things. Nudity is nothing. Immorality, is, as we know it, is like nothing to them. Perhaps when they go older, uh, they will start to witness uh, more and more madness. So they, even, even at that period, I'm sure they will look back and say, what we were witnessing in the uh, year 2020 or 2000 and the first uh, 20th year, of the millennia is not up to what we are witnessing now in the year 2050. By that time, I don't know how the world will be coping. I'm sure people like us will have to frown at everything that we see. So, but for now, I'm going to be relating with the people who understand where we were coming from in the 80s. I relate some of my, some of the things I consider uh, a state of madness to, to your people, you know? Example of it is, check this headline out. Aaron is not my boyfriend. Our kissing scene was just acting. Love react react to viral video of her kissing Aaron at that scene. I think this is Ghanaian, uh, these are Ghanaian actors and actresses. If you check the first picture here, this is the actress uh, who took the picture with her husband here. Uh, and if you check the second picture, this is the man carrying a child here is the actor in this uh, video scene. They were acting movie according to what they told us and see how passionate they were kissing each other. So the question now is, in years back, people like me, when they, I'm not sure we witnessed this in the 80s or 90s, where people had to go all in just to probably make a movie look real. But these days, it's like a normal thing to most of these uh, generation and they don't even see it as anything big deal. Should I say 
we are in the state of madness. Yes, relatively to people like me, in at this age and time, I would say it's madness. But sometimes, relatively to people who were born into the madness already, the, 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 who were born into the realm that I consider mad realm, you know, they won't see it as anything. So that's why I say everything is relative in life. So what I would see as madness, based on the uh, upbringing that we had and what was going on as a norm in our society then, as compared to what we now witness now, is madness. But um, I believe to my children, it's like a, they might look at me and just say, Daddy, this is just an ordinary scene. Why? Because they were born into it. They were born at the age and time where all these things are very rampant. Very rampant. So it's like a normal thing to them. But to people like me, I call it madness. So I wouldn't say, oh, it's mad to every generation. No. It's only mad to some certain people who have not witnessed this before. These are things most of the old generation will say and they will say they are scared of the younger generation. Why? Because they believe that uh, we view things, do things, say things quite different from the way they, they see it. So those are the things that I consider madness. You know, what we, my generation will see now, I will think and feel like is a normal thing. The older generation in their 70s, in their 60s, their 80s and 90s will see it and it will seem awkward to them. So when you see me talk about the madness in our space, I am relating to the people who grow up when things still seem a little bit liquefied or gay in a gaseous state where it hasn't become so strong and thick as we now know it to be. But for the younger generation, of course, it's a normal thing to them. It's a normal realm to them. It's like they rep this realm, they rep this time and age, and it's no big deal. So the question now here on this story is that if you were the husband or the wife of this so-called actor and actresses, well, anyway, they call the, all of them actors these days, both the female and the male gender, how would you feel? Is this something you can take? But like I said, that's one of the madness we have to probably witness and celebrate in our space these days. So let me quickly go to the second story. You know, gone are the days where there are so many things happening in the world, and yet we do not understand them. Fine, no. It's not just understanding. We do not get to hear them. We do not get to feel them. We do not get to witness them. But with the help of social media, which have made everything so paramount, so rampant these days, that at the click or tap from your finger, you can easily, you know, locate any story and get stories that wouldn't have reached you like uh, 20, 30 years. So these are the things that we don't get to see when we were young, especially when we were not at the age and time of the information or free information like we have it. Is there anything free? No, really. But at least uh, to some certain extent, all you need to do is just to get your data and a very good smartphone. And you have a access to free information. It's not actually free because since you still use your data to browse every of these information, it means uh, there's a way these sites that we visit from time to time get uh, a, a little bit shares from all those uh, data information. But we, we, we are not into that today. We just want to talk about the stories that are trending in our midst, which I call the madness that we now celebrate. So check this headline. I chopped a 14 years old class C student until she completed SHS. Teacher Tom Radio presenter shockingly admits, you know, in the past, these are things we don't see. But for somebody to come out and admit to all these kind of things that we consider wrong during our time, I, I think looking at it vehemently even now, it's still wrong. It's still very wrong to probably uh, sleep with the pupil or the students put under your care for you to imbibe them with knowledge uh, and to indulge them into positivity and stuff like that. But for you to be sleeping with a young girl and to uh, confidently and boldly come out this time and age to admit to it on your radio. Why? I don't know whether the guy, the, this guy has been picked up. Nana, Popo, PAC, this is another Ghanaian story. A prominent radio personality with Sumpai FM based in Kumasi has shared controversy and faced widespread condemnation following a startling revelation on her. The media figure confessed during a radio broadcast that he had previously engaged in an amorous relationship with a 14 years old lady who was 
a student while he was a teacher. So well, this is, is not like a big deal to some people. Uh, if you check Nigeria, even if you look at the north, uh, the girls that are far younger than this are being put off for marriage and they are being put in family way. So, but according to the world standard, a 14 years old is still a young girl. Uh, a, a, the age of uh, consent, I think, starts from 18 in some places, 17 in some, some country, but majorly 18. So if a girl is still under 18, she is considered to be of, uh, she's not considered to be of age. She's considered to be uh, a, a child. So anybody who have any adult stuff with the so-called girl will consider molesting the girl or taking advantage of the girl or having carnal knowledge of the so-called girl. So whether this guy is going to be picked up or not, I didn't read the full story. I'm just giving you the headline. Uh, but it's not just all about the deed or the headline. It's about the confidence of what we put out these days and how people react to it. Some people will still have plot to it. If you want to read this story, you can probably just type this headline. Like I used to say in every of my videos, type the headline on your Google search. It will bring out the story. Google can search any story for you. All you need is the headline. You search it on Google and read it from different blogs. And if you read the blog, just go and look at the comment section. That's when you will know that there is real madness, solid one, living among our people today. The perception of people, the perspective they give oftentimes online, we don't even want to imagine it. So let's move on to the third story. Check this picture out, the one I just, that is displaying on your screen. If you have this type of lady in your church as a pastor, would you want to chop the girl? Anyway, let, let me not make fun of it or probably say it in a sarcastic way. Even in Catholic church, the father there told me that if I agree to date him, he will fly me to abroad. A Catholic church where they preach morality, against fornication, against adultery, against immoral hands, all sorts of things. This is where this lady, a Nollywood actress known as Sarah Martins, who decided to speak about her encounter with the priest of the Catholic Church, which made her to stop attending church despite being a Christian. So many people have been claiming that they stopped going to church and months for this, for that. Well, it's a horrible game entirely. I don't even attend church. It's all hoax, H O A X. It's all lies. Institution that were created for con for control purposes is religion. Religion in its entirety is a lie. No prayer praying in the church have ever been answered. No prayer praying in the months have ever been answered. Whether you like it or not, if you don't like the truth, you can help transform it. But the truth is just that. If you want anything get done, you get them done by doing them, not by praying them into existence. Well, let's not even go deeply into religion. I'm still going to be doing uh, a religion set, a religious part of the madness in our society very soon. So even in Catholic Church, the father there told me, so the father is a human being after all. See, one thing all this institution does to us is that it allows us to believe that Everything is sacred. People can't sing. People can't do this. Everything that people tell you not to do according to a doctrine or some doctrine in some religion sects. These are things the people who are preaching it to you perpetrate. They, they do it. They indulge in it. They love it. But why human beings are like that, I don't know. And unfortunately, that's the world we live today. Where people are being told how to live, how not to live. Well, some of it makes sense, some many doesn't make sense. But it's the madness in our space, like I said. So if you are going to any church and uh, you are at this, most ladies who are beautiful, who are looking gorgeous, or who look attractive in nature, will have a, even the ones that are looking dirty and tattered, who has very bad hygiene, they will sit there their own. Part of the story how mostly they, they experience sexual encounter from the so called people they call the religious leaders, sect or whatever. That's to tell you that biology book is more true than a Christian or Korean book because biology will tell you that as a man, these are the things I was watching a video yesterday and I discussed it with my wife. 
somebody said a guy a guy in Ghana during his interview said if they put down 10 mad women who have not cleaned up their body for years they look smelly or whatever but they were all naked and they put guys in the same room just by looking at the nakedness of those women you start to get add on that's biology but christian book will tell you that it is your problem that you cannot control yourself the body that you did not create by yourself you know it becomes a problem so why trying to paint something that is white as black or something that is black as white this is where people consider it sinful even me as a man if i look at a woman who is physically attractive to me too much i will get aroused except there is a problem wrong with my body system but the ability to control yourself is what makes us human beings that have six sense especially when the other party is not in sync with whatever you are thinking of the moment you begin to you can try to woo the person and try to toast the person and try to lure the person into also accepting what you're thinking but if they said no no is no but you will see people who call themselves pastors or muslims cleric imam or afa they will be using some of them will even have to do charm to lure the lady into doing what they are not supposed to be doing that's the madness in our space so we cannot really truly say who oh, you what you did is bad but you become an hypocrite when your doctrine says that you should not do something and you so much hold that doctrine very high to a high standard and you believe in that doctrine and you tell the world you believe in that doctrine yet you are working against the doctrine and you become an hypocrite that's just one of the madness so let's move to the last story which is where i'm going to be showing you the video you see these days many people don't know that whatever they do online can hinder their their life in the future it can affect them drastically but they don't pay attention to all these things imagine somebody saying in this video i will sleep with a man who offers me 100 million from one night stand even though i have a boyfriend lady in video says so when you look at all this you imagine okay very soon now the a guy who wants to marry you and then why trying to marry you will get old of all this video and then there will not be question of integrity because even me i'm a very liberal person i hardly judge people for whatever wrong they do but let's assume that i want to get married now i stumbled upon a video of my wife who was kind of in an interview in the past even before we met or before we, while we were courting saying that she will sleep with a man even if he's, she's lying or she's just using it to catch crews or to chase clouds obviously in my hinder my my perception of her and if i affect it it could affect her relationship which means that by her uh, stupidity she might lo lose marrying to a good guy because trust me i'm one of the best guys in the world no, no, not in terms of uh, romance or whatever but anybody who knows me knows that you know, he's a very good guy but the truth is just that everything you hot her heart it's like the movie i watch uh the Murphy movie that i watched a few years ago a uh, thousands world uh, one of the uh guy from the india the they call them the guru in the movie said that every words that we hurt her out have profound meaning in the universe so when we cause when we discourage people when we encourage people uh it has meaning what meanings we have i can't tell and i'm sure no man born of a woman can tell because we've seen positive words that propel somebody into greatness and that person become a disaster to the society and we've seen people who do not allow the negativity in them to dog their own grave and create destruction for others they've turned it around positively so it's like an interwoven thing you can't really place a word but it's, it just as human we want to believe that 
we should be mostly positive rather than negative. So these are the ladies who are, there is a girl who got dumped by her boyfriend. Uh, according to the story I read, I, I, I'm not sure if I can get rid of that story again. When she says something similar to this, something that has to do with uh, morality, according to the cultural and the religious uh, concept that was handed over to uh, most of us while we were dead, that that shall not do this, this you can't do, this you can't do. But this very one, to, this very home, this very girl, or this very lady said something similar to that. And in the future, if she's about to get married and the husband gets hold of this video, or the family of the husband or the husband might not even care about what she's what she said here, but the friends and the family might look down and, and people care about what other people feel about them. So if I marry a prostitute now, it's not it might not be my problem, but the way the society will perceive me for marrying such a person in the first place might be what will hinder me from marrying the person. There are some people who don't care about what people feel. I don't care too, but not to the large extent. Even as liberal as I might consider myself to be, I still care about what the society feels about me because I can't live in isolation of the society. I'm not like a, a tree that can form a forest. No, I still need the opinion of people. How they perceive me will determine how I comfortably live anywhere I reside. So I want you to watch the video to the end and then please give your opinion at the end of this video. I would like to hear what you think about the madness in our society. And if you think that there's a particular topic you want me to talk about that is really bothering you, and some of the madness that you feel that shouldn't be a norm that we have legalized or turned to a norm in our society, please let me know. Until I come your way next time, enjoy your day and stay cool and stay blessed. Take care for now and enjoy the video. How much you pay for the um, surgery? Okay, I paid. 15 million to get my body done. 15 million era? Yeah. What did you do for fun? Huh? I like I like to um travel. How many countries have you been to? I've only traveled in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred million era or is rush relationship? Hundred million. Ah also, <laughs> all this one lost sign though. Ah, uh, what is your turn off in a guy? Bad breath. Smelling now. But it's get bad. Eh? Uh, smelling sweaty armpits. Sweaty armpits? Yes. Okay, well, if the person get money, go get your distance, what will you do? I'm sorry, I can't take that. Probably I can work on him mm -hmm. if he's willing to Let's let... Just... Yes, exactly. Are these real? They are not real. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Is this surgery? I did, but it looks natural. That's how I like it. Okay, you did it. Okay, you, okay, you did the bum bum and it look natural. natural. So how much did you acquire it? I am like five million. Five, the, um, the boobs, sorry. Yeah, natural. What do you do for fun? I like to explore. Explore? How much is this hair? Two million. What do you do? I'm a self entrepreneur. How much do you make monthly? Huh. Like 10 million. Huh? 